Hey guys, Patrick here in Southwest Fort Worth, and I wanted to do a little video setting up this glass box. I got it for cheap because it had a leak, and so I had to reseal it and took the silicone off, re-siliconed it, and was uh, very liberal in the application of silicone just because I was kind of paranoid. Um, I, I didn't want it to leak. And this is actually my first rimless. I've got another one to set up. I've got one in the uh, bathroom um, that has like a little black trim that, that goes on top of it like a top. So it's not really rimless. I guess it could be used like that. But this one is rimless. Uh, we're going to be doing a planted rainwater tank. So I've got the stuff set up here. And I'm actually going to be doing some sphagnum peat moss as the first first layer there and then we're gonna go with some all-natural kitty litter for clay then we're gonna go with some topsoil there um, and then we're gonna top it with uh, black diamond blasting sand which I love and then we're gonna plant the mess out of it I have this overgrown and I haven't trimmed it yet on purpose because I'm gonna do a major trimming to plant this this tank. Um, let me talk a bit about how I'm filtering this bad boy. And I already tested these out and filled it with water, so it was good. But I've got this PVC. And one thing I need to test out is uh, if it's going to be able to drain fast enough. Otherwise, I might do a smaller pump. Uh, but I just got some of that Rust-Oleum black that bonds to plastic spray paint. Spray painted that PVC black. Um, a little edge on it and I've got two outlets so it's gonna go there and it's going to drain into uh, the sump that I've had just lying around so we're gonna filter this with the, the sump um, and that's gonna be the plumbing for this rainwater tank I'm gonna going to do um, some uh, rams and cardinal tetras in this tank and that's the idea for this one and I think I'm gonna run some CO2 that or do a method I saw where they just have an upside down like water bottle or, or container and the CO2 two disperses from that I don't know yet we'll see what I do with it but I got it for cheap um, this is the substrate I'm using. If you want to know more about substrate, I recommend Father Fish. One thing I want to talk about too is that uh, I did a setup video for a planted tank before and I talked about Eco-Complete and I found that I, I like this Black Diamond Blasting Sand better as a cap. If I'm just using Eco-Complete, okay. But again, that's it's going to run out of nutrients and stuff. Then you got to do root tabs or redo the tank. Um, but you can, I'm going to do a, a deep uh, four or five inch uh, substrate layer on this uh, just like I have over here with this deep layer so that um, it has nutrients for longer. And then let me go ahead. We're going to go over here. I need to do an update video and talk about the fishing and the different stuff I have going on. Because there's always fry and stuff. We just did a, last Saturday was a swap meet. There's another one this Saturday. Um, I've got two tanks now of the uh, Odessa barbs and tiger barbs that I'm breeding. And then I've got more in their breeder baskets right now. I just put in today so I can get more fry from them. It's eventually I'm going to do like a tiger barb tank. I think that'd be cool. Anyway, I got this 500 gallon water container here and that's just temporary where it's at now I'm gonna I think put it up on some uh, cinder blocks some 4x4s uh, uh, that way I can just use gravity but I got it for a hundred bucks it holds 500 gallons and I filled the mess out of it when it was raining a few weeks ago as I was collecting this rainwater and was just getting a ton of rainwater coming down I went and I filled this thing so there's probably over 300 gallons of rainwater in this right now I do have an RO system, but yeah, that's just, that's, that's rainwater in there. 
and so I've got water for days all right let's go ahead and and I did go to a local fish store get a bunch of cardinal tetras and neon tetras ember tetras I did a bulk order so I'd have them for this stuff all right I'm gonna do a little setup on this tank so I've got the substrate in and it is now filled with rainwater in the tank. I've put the driftwood in. There's my nephew staying with me for a few weeks this summer. My biggest fan. We've got some flat rocks and now I'm going to go ahead and trim my other bow front. I've already run the pump and everything seems to be working really well with the sump down beneath. So and the lights are lights are on. So now we'll add the plants and it should be cleared up by tomorrow. So I'll do that. Here we are, it's the next day. I have trimmed this tank and cool little of note, I had so many plants in here I didn't realize, but in there we've got a bunch of free swimming. Super red bristlenose, I gotta get them out. Anyway, move the, trim this tank and move the plants over here. But we're still a bit cloudy. So what I'm gonna do to polish this water is I just put a little pond filter basket in here. I've got a random filter cartridge I'd lying around unused. And then in that netting I put some aqua char. So we'll see uh, how long that takes to polish the water. And I had to uh, change out the submersible pump to one that I can adjust the flow on because the other one I had was just um, pumping it too fast. But now we've got it just at the right, right amount. And so we'll visit this and see how long this uh, aqua char, if the aqua char does good, then do a little holler out to them. Let's find out. So it's cleared up quite a bit, but it's been filtering all day. I'm going to take an aqua tin I got at the swap meet and put it on there and see if we can't polish this water up even more. So last night I went and <clears throat> put on the 110 to polish the water and we see that's a lot clearer now. So we're at a point where I can go ahead and add the fish into this rainwater tank. I'm going to take out the aqua char and um, extra cartridge filter that's in the floating pond basket there. Remove the 110, aqua clear 110. But it's ready. Let's see, we've got the temperature. Here is where I want it, about 82, 83. And I'm going to remove that too. I just wanted to make sure that the temperature was good. And it is. And we'll add the rams and cardinals. <clears throat> so here it is. It's got just a little bit of cloudiness left, but it's cleared up a lot. I've just kept the Aqua 10. Aqua Clear 110 on there because I think it looks cool the way the current goes at the top of the water and it's not really noticeable. I mean, I kind of see it up here, but it's not bad. I kind of like it. <clears throat> and there's the main feature my favorite fish, German Blue Ram. The whole reason I set this up is so we'd have some softer water so that. I can breed these guys. 
because I absolutely love them. Just fantastic fish. There it is with some cardinal tetras, ember tetras, and the German blue rams. Set up. Say bye, buddy. Bye. There we go.